know, we draw heavily on the IFS internal family systems thinking that, you know, we, we are, we are made of parts, you know, that that is actually the baseline. We don't have a monolithic personality. We have different parts and those different parts can be recruited into different roles, depending on the context and the environment, what's required. And so, you know, as we know, as therapists, the, the more trauma there is, you're going to have parts that maybe take on extreme jobs um, to protect the, you know, the person that, um, that's had the trauma, if they were not able to process the trauma or have a trusted adult around. And so, um, you know, in a session, we are starting with that concept of, there's a bunch of systems in the room and those systems are made of parts. So there's, you know, mine is the therapist and then each of theirs individually and then the system that they're kind of creating together. So, you know, if I were to say what that looks like in the therapy room, um, I don't know, I'm going to take an example from my own life and I'll say what, what, would, what it would look like if I was treating myself right. and my partner. Yeah. So, you know, the other day, for instance, um, So Liz, you specialize in IFIO, and first of all, can you let our audience know, for those who don't, what IFIO is? Yeah, so thanks for having me, Rachel. Um, so yes, IFIO is the Internal Family Systems uh, Couples Therapy Model. And what, and so that's IFS, Internal Family Systems, and IFIO stands for Intimacy from the Inside Out. And this is a model that Tony Herbine Blank developed out of um, a bunch of different models, you know, primarily IFS. Um, she's also drawn from Imago therapy and family systems and uh, neurobiology um, to develop this couple's protocol. So thank you for that, Liz. And so do you consider IFIO to be experiential? So, you know, I, I'm curious about what experiential means. I mean, yes, the model, you know, we do talk about it as an experiential model um, in that, you know, we are not just doing psychoeducation with couples um, in our sessions. We are actually um, orchestrating a new experience. We're really helping them to identify in the moment, in session, um, you know, what happens when they try to have conversations? What, you know, what's going on when a conflict arises? And then ideally helping them to do that differently in session. So it's a very present moment um, working through the model. So in that way, it's experiential. Mm -hmm.